Tatiana Arrington with What the Film, and I am here with Shanice from Summer House, Martha's Vineyard. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm good. You look lovely. Loving the vibes. You're, you're still giving summer. <laughs> I am. Well, I'm in Florida, so. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. So I feel like the season has already been heating up and we're about almost halfway, I want to say. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's talk about last the last episode. So to break it down, just, just let me know off the bat, does everybody wear fake shit in the house except you? <laughs> no, I, I, I was just so mad and I didn't know like what to say. I was just like, you know what? And I just went off and I just got mad and I went upstairs and um just started crying. I mean, I'm sure somebody in the house wears fake stuff, but I don't know who. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's fair. I think Preston made a joke about that. So maybe, maybe him. But what I mean, I, I feel like I understand where you were coming from in that moment, but if you want to just break down your feelings a little bit, like why that hurt you so much that Summer said that. The reason why it hurt me so much is because Summer knew that I lost my job right before I'm um, going into the house. And she's one of my good friends. We talk almost every single day. So they knew the whole story about how it happened and when it happened. So for her to jab at me and like that fast, and it wasn't even her question. It was Amir's question. She stole it and said, Shanice, like right away. And first yeah. of all, I wear bikinis all the time. So I shouldn't even be like in the conversation. That's what I was, <laughs> like, was going to say too. I'm like, you're literally always in a bikini. <laughs> right. Like all the time. <laughs> and then like when we go out, I have like a dress on, like normal, like people wear all the time. So I'm like, why yeah. are you for me or summer I should say um but if it were, if it were up to me I would say Amir is probably the worst dress out of everybody just really like, yeah <laughs> definitely but I just feel like that was the reason why it hurt because I had so much built up in me as well so even yeah just maybe any comment um towards me at that time I probably would have started crying because I was yeah. already kind of sensitive coming into the house and I know you mentioned that you and Summer are such good friends, but do you feel like it's like a frenemy situation or sometimes she maybe is like a little jealous of you? Like, what's the dynamic there? I do feel like sometimes she is a little jealous of me. Um, our relationship, even like right now, is kind of rocky. Um, I have a hard time trusting her of certain things. Um, but yeah, I definitely still feel the jealousness. And even like when we were out, like just recently, I was like, okay, I'm still getting some jealous summer. So yeah. Yeah. And I feel like there's been weird, not weird, but like different interactions with a lot of the girls in the house. Like, mm -hmm. you know, Jordan, for example, we're going to see some of that next week, this big blow up between them and Noel. Do you feel like too, I feel, I feel like generally I'm going to be real. I feel like you're a free spirit. You like to have a good time you would probably actually fit really well on the original summer house. Cause like, you're just, yeah, everybody's so unserious there and they're having a oh, good yeah. time. Do you feel like sometimes your housemates make you confront things in the moment where you're maybe like, you would want to do this more one-on-one -on -one or more private. Do you think they like all the time, <laughs> <laughs> all the time, every time we go somewhere, <laughs> When we're on the boat, it was just like serious conversation, serious conversation. And they're like, oh, do you want to go talk to Summer? And I'm like, not right now. Like, I'm drinking. I'm having fun. Like, my party's tonight. Like, I don't want to talk to Summer right now. Like, this is not the time to do it. Maybe in the morning, like, <laughs> but not before yeah. my party. <laughs> and what is, have you met any of the original Summer House cast? And do you, do you think you would like fit in or vibe with them? I only met, so I met Jesse. He's um newer he's on season this last season yeah. um and that's the only and in Gabby um I think I would honestly fit in so much better <laughs> just because they're not serious and they're like on vacation and I'm just like we're on vacation you guys and we're fighting like this and we're clicking up in little clicks and like I'm like what is this yeah how did you feel initially because I know you and Bria are also really close as well mm -hmm. how did you feel about her reaction to Mariah coming to the house when you know everybody knows about that situation that happened last summer I understand um where she's coming from because I mean it happened to her so she Mariah pushed Bria so I mean I mean maybe that really made Bria feel some type of way which apparently it did so I feel like our housemates should understand that okay Bria feels like this like that's it, it wasn't between anyone else it's between those two 
So right. if that's how she feels, then that's how she feels. And we need to understand that. And Mariah can't come because if Phil can't come, Mariah can't come. That's the only, it's fair. <laughs> yeah. And did you feel like you understood where your housemates were coming with, coming with Phil too? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> You're like, I, yeah, I do. I just want to build the house because he's fun. Um, and he's tall, he's good looking, but like I I I get it. Um, he did cause some drama, a lot of drama last season. He was in the house for two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so if he would have been in the house for two weeks, who knows what could have went down. So I completely understand. I was just trying to pull the card to see what they would say. You never know, but yeah, that's true. But I think like I wonder about the the interaction between him and Preston. Like there, fe- it feels like there's like some maybe I don't know, but it feels like there could be like some toxic masculinity vibes there, and maybe that's why, you know, he has like a a mm-hmm. negative reaction to him coming. Right, and I think that's definitely one of the reasons why Preston doesn't want him in the house, and I completely understand that too. So when he said that, I was like, okay, I get it. Because if I was in Preston's shoes, then I probably wouldn't want Phil here too. So yeah, I felt for him. And I feel like there, you all are so beautiful. You're having a good time. And we only have like a few, I mean, actually really, it's just Alex. Like Alex is the yeah. only single <laughs> one. But what, I mean, what can we expect as the season heats up? Like, I know you can't say too much, but are you getting any, into any more altercations with anyone? What's what's going on? Give us like a little tea. Yeah. I mean, yeah. all I can say is Alex and I kind of get into it coming okay. up. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's coming up okay. soon. And it's a big little, it's a, we, we get an argument. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are your thoughts on Alex and like him in the house? Because obviously, like, I feel like a lot of the girls think he's attractive. He's cool. But maybe a little private, maybe a little boring. Like what are, what are your thoughts? Alex is extremely boring and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I feel like you really have to get to know Alex. Yeah. He's one of those people, he's an Aries and I'm an Aries as well. But, I'm an Aries too. Oh, perfect. Yeah. See, <laughs> but I feel like it's hard for us to open up to people right away. So yeah. he's like that. And he's really kind of quiet until you get to know him. And then I've actually gotten to know him really well. And he's opening up more. He's talking more. He's t- like, we're talking, texting here and there. But like, yeah, I just think that you just have to get to know him and talk to him and give him a chance. Gotcha. Okay. That's so like you're literally on the two spectrums of Aries. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm both. I'm an Aries. I think another sign of mine is the Aries. I don't know, moon or something. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'm okay. definitely an Aries. All the gotcha, way. gotcha. When's your birthday? April 8th. It was yesterday. <laughs> Happy belated. Happy bel- My birthday was in March. So okay. So well, March Aries. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, cool. And uh, I feel like there's so many things I want to ask you, but I, I'll end the... I'll end it off with this. I feel like you had a really transparent moment where you were talking to your mom and we kind of got a sneak peek inside of your life and how you grew up and things like that. Talk a little, uh, I did ask fans for some questions. They were really excited that I was going to talk to you today. So for my last question, just talk to me a little bit about your family dynamic and what that was like um, for you growing up. Yeah, so I'm actually from South Dakota. So uh, my parents are still together. They've been together for 43 years now. Um, But I'm just super close with my mom because I feel like a lot of girls are. I mean, I call my mom every single day. I can't really talk about some things with my dad. (laughs) So I call my mom probably like almost five times a day. Um, She knows everything. So I know (laughs) you called your mom and told her you were going to get naked. And I was like, yeah, no, my mom knows everything. Um, And I do have a sister as well. She's um, 12 years older than me and we're very close too. So, I mean, my family and I were just super, super small, but very close. And like I said, my mom, she has no filter. um, And she tells you how it is. Yep. (laughs) Um, And I love her for that because she tells me how it is and what I need to do in life. And She's definitely my number one supporter. <laughs> yeah. So how do your parents feel about the naked stuff though? Because once again, for TV, just your vibe, it's fantastic. It's like, just let Shanice live, like calm down. But like, how do people, do you feel like people judge you or perceive you differently because of that? 
all the time. I think people judge me all the time. And it's honestly like, it's just vacation Shanice. Like I have another side of me where I work a full-time job and I go to the gym every day and I barely drink. Like I can go months without drinking, but on vacation, <laughs> I'm letting the story. Yeah. Like I work all the time. Like I want to be with my friends and I don't see my friends as much as I, cause I live in Florida and they all live in like New York and Ger- Germany, wherever. So mm-hmm. it's good to like be with them and they're people I can trust and be myself around. So they don't care if I take my top off and I'm drunk and doing whatever. <laughs> cause I yeah. see Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super excited to watch the rest of the season. It's already been juicy. It's already been so good. I don't even know if you saw too, somebody did like a TikTok breaking down all of the outfits. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> and then everybody realized your, your skirt was from Dolce. And so <laughs> you were like, well, what are y'all even talking about? It was for <laughs> so funny. <laughs> But no, just for the fact that it was like, wow, y'all, can y'all even afford what she's putting on? You're saying she's a bad dresser. It was just like a funny interaction. Yeah, I saw that. That's funny. <laughs> but yes, looking forward to talking to you again soon, hopefully. And congratulations on everything you got going on. You're such a free spirit. You're, you know, I feel like one of the pulses of the show, like everybody's all like, what is Shanice going to do next? So it's right. super great. And yeah, I can't wait to watch the rest of the season. Yeah, it gets juicy, especially next next episode. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Popcorn waiting. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day.